folks. Archer Moreland. We got pre-owned deals that'll knock you off your feet. Tell them about it, Jeff. Over 50 cars for $1.99 a month. That's $1.99 a month. Check us out, folks. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Over 400 pre-owned cars at MorelandGM.com. That's MorelandGM.com. And if Moreland's done on the back of your car, you paid too much. Good morning. Welcome back once again to the Statesman News Network. My name is Corey Knowles, and today is Wednesday, Tuesday, November 30th. Got a few things happening today. Stoddard County Commission accepted the resignation of Assistant Prosecutor Rance Butler, which is expected to take effect on December 31st, 2010. Butler attended the commission meeting Monday and informed them of his resignation. Butler said he would open a private practice either in Dexter or Bloomfield, and he said he took the job as Assistant Prosecutor in July 08, when there were approximately 1,500 cases on the court dockets and a high-profile murder case pending as well. Went on to say that the environment was not the same at this time. Uh, he doesn't see anything, any cases pending that should be a big deal for the incoming new prosecutor, so should be. Thinks everything will be business as usual when he takes over. In other news, throughout the coming days, the statesmen will be featuring families that can use assistance in providing for their children this Christmas. Many will also benefit from monetary help with utility bills, and the process is a simple one. Any individual, church, civic group, business, or club interested in taking on the challenge of providing for one of the local families is asked to stop by the statesman office at 133 South Walnut. Simple as that. Donors will be provided with family information, including specific sizes for clothing and toy requests. Contact numbers will be given in order to speak with the family regarding more specifics and delivery location information, things along those lines. Circumstances vary dramatically from family to family. Some are single-parent households. Some head of household have been victims of factory layoffs around the county. Others have been hit with high utility bills and sur are surviving month to month on disability benefits. No matter the reasons behind their situation, all are in need of help during this holiday season. Families are numbered for easy reference, easy reference when contacting the paper to provide help. Statesman also accepts cash donations, which are dispersed to the most needy of families on the list to assist with outstanding bills. Uh, in weather, today we've got a high of about 40 with a little around 39. Not going to be much difference. It's going to be mostly cloudy outside. With a chance of rain, should dwindle down as noonish passes. Uh, I'd like to remind everyone that basketball season, at least as far as from the webcast perspective, kicks off next week. We'll have games, I believe, every night of next week on our website. You'll be able to just, just as always, click on the link for the sport network of your choice, and it'll take you to right where you need to go. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in to watch our Statesman newscast. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to send me an email at cnoles at dailystatesman.com or give me a call at 624-4545. Don't forget to pick up a copy of our print edition for the stories we've talked about and a whole lot more. On that note, see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching.